excited for another video? We got another video today. Hi everybody, welcome back to another day of Happy Holidays 2021. I'm so excited to share today's video with you because I am going to go over some purchases that I've made recently for some luxury Louis Vuitton pieces on online site. I've made four purchases all on different platforms and I'm gonna share with you my experience on each platform, let you know where I think I got the best deal, where I got the most quality for my buck. I'm gonna talk a little bit about a site that disappointed me a little bit. I think that during the holidays, a lot of us are looking to find that extra special gift for someone we love or maybe treat ourselves to something special. And I think looking at the pre-loved market is such a great place to find some really great deals. One of the great things about using some of these online sites is that you may have a credit with these sites or you can get a credit with these sites. If you just search through your closet at home, you can find items that you won't miss at all if you sell it. I wanna start with the item that was a little bit of a disappointment to me. I have been wanting to get a key fob, a little six key ring for some time now. And when I was searching for this in October, which is when I made the purchase, they were sold out at Louis Vuitton. So online, a, a common price for these pre-owned was like $285, $300. This morning I looked on the Real Real for one of these six key rings um, in very good condition, which is what this was marked as very good condition, was $325. This went on sale um, when I purchased it, and I don't have my exact purchasing price, but I think I paid $225 for this, which is a little bit off of retail, which is $265. So I went online this morning to Louis Vuitton. They had it available. So you can get it brand new online at Louis Vuitton for $265. I'll also say this is probably my most impulsive purchase of this entire lot. So if something's in very good condition, they'll say what the flaw is, you know, creasing throughout or minor scratch on hardware. But when I hear very good condition, I think just that. Well, when this came in the mail, some of the glazing was off, which is a common problem with Louis Vuitton pieces. So the inside was clean and everything. I did clean it up a little bit more. So it wasn't in bad condition but you can see along the edges sometimes the monogram stuff like peels it curls up a little bit with age so you can see that this had a little bit of curling and it's also starting to lose some of the glazing on the edges in fact right here you can see right here where it's actually separated now to me, this is not very good condition, especially when I paid very close to retail. This was kind of an impulse buy. Um, I wanted this. I had watched many reviews on people who really enjoyed this. And to boot, and this is not Louis Vuitton's fault, but this key part, this is just my own keychain. Keys are so bulky now. It doesn't even fit in here. So I can't even snap all of my keys in here. So this was not the best purchase. I leave this out, which doesn't bother me and then I snap this. And at least um, this is still compact enough that the random keys in there aren't like scratching up the interior of any of my bags or anything. But for me, if I were to do this again, I would wait and I would go to Louis Vuitton and buy this for $265 new because at $225, this shows a fair amount of wear and I don't think this was the best purchase for me. I love the item, but I would have spent an extra $40 to get it brand new in box. I was a little disappointed because for me, I had the most faith in my purchase from The Real Real of all these online platforms and I was a little bit disappointed with this purchase. And I also find that if an item is out of stock, The Real Real really hikes up the prices. All right, so let's talk next about this small agenda that I got. This is the pocket agenda and it is in the Damier Ebene. I wanted to mix it up with my agendas. I kind of wanted to alternate this pattern with the monogram. So I was excited to find this. This was a little bit of an impulse purchase, but I knew I wanted to get this. I wanted to have a little pocket agenda 
to just throw in my purse to keep notes. I haven't used this as much as I thought I might yet. As of right now, I just have like a few things on a list for Christmas gifts. And I've actually kept it here in my office. I haven't carried it around with me, but it's kind of nice to have something in your pocket that you can just write on really quickly if you don't want to carry around like a big agenda. Like this is heavy duty. This is going to stay on my desk. This retails for $395 and I purchased this for 250 on Poshmark. Now, typically I make offers on Poshmark, but on this particular one, it was in mint condition. It was beautiful. I could tell by the pictures, there was little to nowhere on this. There are a couple scratches on the hardware, but it really doesn't bother me to save $150 for a few scratches on this. So this I think was a good purchase. I probably could have offered maybe 200. These are readily available on places like Poshmark. I think the larger agendas are harder to find and they typically are a lot more expensive to purchase. I saved $150 off of retail and I'm really happy with the condition of it. So this is a purchase I would definitely make again on Poshmark. However, next time I might make an offer. I had this set in my mind that I really wanted this pattern in this size and it was available and it was just so beautiful. It looked like brand new on so many fronts that I just jumped on it. I'm not sure if these are available right now on the Louis Vuitton site, but typically I have never once looked at Louis Vuitton and seen online and seen any of their agendas available to purchase. The way that I obtained this agenda was to go directly to the store, which is what I would recommend. You can call the 1-800 number and they could let you know if a local store might have one in stock. But I think the real key to getting pieces new from Louis Vuitton, which is not necessarily what we're talking about here today, but to get a new piece from Louis Vuitton, I think it's essential to go in store store and get a sales associates information and then you have a direct line to somebody. I happened to luck out when I went in on this day they had a monogram one. I'm going to feature this in an upcoming video where I talk about this and I also bought the desk agenda new in this pattern as the desk agenda is slightly different than the agenda um, because it doesn't have the rings it's basically just like a canvas cover and we'll talk about that in a more planning centered video in the future we talked about this from the real real not the best investment this off poshmark was great i do want to make a note that poshmark has an enormous crazy amount of counterfeit bags, which disgusts me. I wish the platform would work much harder to get rid of these people selling counterfeit pieces on their website. It takes so much credibility away from the site. I remember when I started to look for my Pochette Matisse, which I bought in store a while back, when I searched Pochette Matisse on Poshmark, the first 67 items that came up were fakes for like $250. It's a $2,000 bag. There's no way anybody is selling it for $260. And they are there every day. I don't know why Poshmark can't get them off, but it really upsets me. As a side note, yesterday on Poshmark, I picked up a pair of Louis Vuitton men's sunglasses for $38. When I log on to Poshmark and I'm in the mood to like hunt for bargains for Louis Vuitton, which is a little pastime of mine, I will log on search Louis Vuitton just in at random times of the day. And most of the time the prices are too high and I'm not gonna buy anything, but every once in a while you see a little gem that pops up for a great price and you can jump on it. So you really have to be patient when you're ordering from these online sites. And I think the, the misstep that I made with this was a great example of if you're not patient, you can, you can buy something that it's not terrible, it just wasn't the best deal for me. Um, but I did buy a pair of Louis Vuitton sunglasses yesterday for men and they were $38. And the woman was so incredible. I texted her after I purchased it because the price was so good. And I looked at a few markers. It had the LV on the lens that she photographed. It looked, it just looked legit. So I bought it because you can always cancel your order if you find out that it is counterfeit, which I've done many times on Poshmark. I messaged her the next morning and I said, can you confirm the authenticity of these sunglasses before you send them out? And she replied with, they were my ex-husband's. He bought them on a business trip. I'm not positive. She's very responsive, very honest. So she wrote back and she sent me the serial number, which I couldn't find the sunglasses based on the serial number she sent. So I was looking 
at other Louis Vuitton sunglasses that had sold online and I was looking for markers, like for things that would help me feel more comfortable that it was authentic. And I noticed that on the, the nose pads, the metal underneath the nose pads both, both had LV. She didn't put that in her photograph. So I just messaged her. I said, could you look and see if there's an LV under on the nose pad on the metal part? And she said, yes, on both nose pads, there is an LV. The one question I wanted to ask was country of origin. And I don't know, like if it said made in Italy, made in Paris or whatever, I imagine some of their glasses could be made in China, but that I wouldn't have known based on that. So I went with it. So she's sending that to me. If I get them and I like them, I will keep them. If they don't look great on my face, I will sell them and I will probably list them north of $300. So this is another way you can kind of get the items that you want by buying and selling items that you may not love, but you see the value in it. And it doesn't have to be with just luxury. You can go to your closet and pull out a bunch of sweaters and shoes and handbags that you're not wearing anymore. You could send them to thread up and then do very little work. You could list them on your own on Poshmark or eBay or Mercari. If you have luxury items, you can send them to the real real. And then you can get a little slush fund for yourself and then recycle that money. And currently at the real real, I am signed up to receive credit as opposed to cash and you get a little bit more money if you get if you use it for site credit instead of taking the cash so there are so many ways that you can get your hands on luxury handbags without paying retail but you do have to be patient and you have to you have to do some homework too the next thing that I want to talk about is actually not in my possession right now and that is the Louis Vuitton MM agenda um, the smaller size of this. I purchased it on Mercari. It was listed for $375 and it was missing the bottom part. So it was, again, it was missing this section right here. It was literally just a little hole in the canvas. It didn't go all the way through. It was just like a surface hole, like this piece had just popped right out. I messaged the woman and I said, do you have any flexibility with your pricing? Um, I have a $200 site credit that I'm contemplating using. Do you know if this can be repaired? She wrote back, I'm pretty sure this can be repaired at the store. I just know that I won't do it. And as luck would have it, and I consider this a real stroke of luck, she happened to watch me on YouTube and she said, I watch your channel, you can have this for $200 for your site credit, which was the most generous thing ever. So I said to her, that is so completely generous of you. Thank you so much. I said, why don't you send me an offer and I will accept whatever you send because I, I, I didn't wanna take advantage of the fact that she was being so nice and happened to know me, but I was also thrilled to get this because she had a price at 350 or 375 and my site credit was 200. And she also said, I am saving some money. I think she said for a Gucci backpack. This is what we do when we love luxury items and we don't want to spend retail all the time. You use something for a while and then you sell it. Somebody else loves it. And then you can earn a little bit money back so that you can invest in a piece that you're excited about at the moment. I asked her to send me an offer and this beautiful, kind woman sent me an offer for $225. I was like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. The MM agenda sells for $660 retail. And she even said, if you fix this and sell it, I don't even mind. I just want to get rid of it. And you get lucky sometimes. Sometimes I price things high because I don't want to, I'm not in a hurry to get rid of them. And other things may have been sitting forever and I would take almost any offer. I always recommend talking to your seller, being kind, just have some sort of a relationship. And I think it works when you're on the selling end as well. So she sent me the offer for $225 with tax. It was like 237 or 235. When I went in and purchased this piece, which I haven't even, I haven't even taken it out yet. It's been sitting here for like two or three weeks and I'm saving it for an unboxing. But when I purchased that, I dropped off the MM agenda and the price to fix the snap was $60, which I didn't know what I was expecting, but I thought that's really not bad. I only paid $32 out of pocket plus the 60. So $92 for a $660 Louis Vuitton medium agenda. I just checked in at Louis Vuitton. They said it's been taking like up to 12 weeks for their repairs. So I'm not even anticipating it before Christmas. And now that I've bought two other agendas, because I'm crazy, I acknowledge that I'm a nut job when it comes to these agendas, but 
because I've bought two other ones. I don't know if I'm going to keep that. If I do decide to sell that, I will probably list it around $500, which is like 160 off of retail. And I think it will move pretty quickly because what I've seen on those MM agendas is a lot of people have those priced above retail. I do think you're more likely to get a better deal on the Louis Vuitton agendas on places like Poshmark and Mercari. eBay has a ton of them, but what I've noticed is they're coming from overseas, primarily Japan. Let me know if you've ever ordered a pre-owned Louis Vuitton piece from Japan and what your experience has been. I've been a little weary to purchase something that far away um, because of the authentication piece and because I just want to make sure that I love it. Poshmark and Mercari have been my go-to places when I'm looking for secondhand agendas. If you get an item and it's counterfeit, Poshmark is going to take it back. So I don't really worry so much about that. If I have a hunch about something, if somebody has something priced really low and I'm like, this could be a great thing, like the sunglasses, I bought them first and asked questions later, which I hate as a seller when people do that. But as a buyer, if they're not saying it's authentic or not authentic and they have it listed under the brand Louis Vuitton, then I'm assuming it's authentic. If I get it and it's fake, I'm sure Poshmark would process the return. Like I am like 120% sure that they would process it. But I mean, don't quote me, that's just my gut. And anything you purchase on Poshmark that's $500 or more automatically gets authenticated before it reaches you. I don't know what Mercari does. I'm not as active on Mercari, so I'm not sure what their policy is. I'm not even seeing any MM agendas. I think they are in high demand this time of year. They're all the small ring agendas on here. Fashion File is another website that has luxury, also expensive. The agendas are ridiculous what they get for them online. I would really recommend um, if you want one of the larger agendas to go right to Louis Vuitton. This large ring agenda, which is $800 at Louis Vuitton, used on Fashion File is 1,150. The desk agenda cover, the same one that I purchased new in the store for 600, is on Fashion File for $750. So if something is unavailable, these sites will really mark them up. Enough about the agendas. Stay tuned because I am going to show you how I'm planning with the agendas towards the end of my series for Happy Holidays and I'm very excited. Last up is this Louis Vuitton Keep All 45. This was a really special purchase to me because I had reached a milestone in my Poshmark business. I had decided to treat myself to something. So I gave myself a $2,500 budget and that's where a lot of these purchases came from. Um, it was a sales goal that took me over three years to reach on Poshmark. And once I did it, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna treat myself. This is what came out of that. I had a credit on ThreadUp. I decided I wanted to steer away from getting another handbag and get things that I was going to use in my everyday life or like a special weekend away with my family, um, which is where the agendas, the key ring, and this bag came into play. I also knew that I wanted to get leather handles because the Vachetta just gets too damaged for me too quickly. And I also love black with everything. So I actually have the Louis Vuitton Delightful and sent it out after years of use to have the strap in all of the trim dyed black. And after that, I saw that Louis Vuitton was designing a lot of pieces with the black leather. It's just more durable. So this is actually technically from the men's department. And the only thing I'm not crazy about is that the hardware is in silver. But this is just in, I mean, I could not ask for a more immaculate piece to purchase secondhand. And I wanna give you the breakdown. So for starters, this Keep All 45 in this pattern retails for $2,230 on the Louis Vuitton website. This was on ThreadUp for $1,967.99. Only a couple hundred dollars less than retail, because it was in such pristine condition. So at first glance, I was like, that's gonna eat up a lot of my budget. So I'm not sure that I'm going to go for it at that price. And then I started poking around on ThreadUp. I realized I had a 15% off handbag coupon. And to my surprise, 
that coupon worked on this Louis Vuitton piece. I was shocked. I had no idea. I think I got that coupon from visiting the site every day for 30 days. I don't know. I had all these like little like free shipping coupon, 15% off a handbag coupon. I didn't even know where they came from. I've been on ThreadUp for a very long time, but I'm inconsistent about sending stuff in. I'm inconsistent with purchasing from them. $295.20 was 15%. So they were selling the bag for $1,967.99. I then applied the 15% credit for $295.20. That was the discount with the coupon. Then I had a site credit for $413.46 from just items that I had sent in that was just sitting there. So my order total on this bag with tax and everything was $1,000. $259.33, which is $1,000 off of retail. And this bag is immaculate. So even after I purchased this, I still had another $1,200 in my little mental budget for um, the other pieces that I wanted to get. And then I got the agenda and some of the other things, but that was such a great deal. And I really had a great experience going through ThreadUp. I mean, I was nervous about a ThreadUp purchase because they don't really take the best pictures. One of the things I was worried about was the fact that in the photographs, there was no crossbody strap. And I had watched several videos of people talking about how important the crossbody was when they were traveling. Like, if you're gonna get this duffel pre-owned, please don't purchase it without the strap or make the investment to either buy the Louis strap or a knockoff strap because it's so important to have it and I had already placed my order. It was still a big investment for me even though I got such a great deal and when it came in the mail the strap was wrapped up inside the bag. They had never put it in their images on ThreadUp. That was such a great surprise. So my experience at ThreadUp was amazing. I even got more than I thought I was getting because the strap wasn't photographed. When I add up the total cost for the retail of the keep all bag, the six key ring holder, the MM agenda, which is $660, and the PM agenda, which online is $395. When I add up all of those retail prices before tax, it's $3,550. And when I add up what I paid out of pocket, which does include credit from certain sites, so I did actually send in something of value. It wasn't just given to me. But when I add up what I paid for those four items, my total is $1,769.40. Which is over half off what the retail amount would have been in total. So I saved, my husband's always like, oh yeah, you saved a lot of money, Lori. <laughs> but I saved $1,780.60 by shopping for these items secondhand. I think that if you can do some homework, you can find some really amazing deals and beautiful products that are luxury online at sites like Poshmark, Mercari, Thread Up, The Real Real Fashion File. Do your homework, try to be patient and prioritize what you really want. And I bet you will be able to bring home some luxury into your life this holiday season. Thank you so much for watching today. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend, and tune in for more of my Happy Holidays videos. I'm releasing videos every day, December 1st through December 10th of this month. So thank you so much for joining me. Be sure to subscribe if you wanna see more from me, and I'll see you back tomorrow. Love you guys, bye.